Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, every time we celebrate the Eucharist, we experience the greatness of God's love for us. May we love God as He deserves to be loved. May we love God first, we, may we love God above all else. And may our love of God bear fruit in our love for one another. In this Mass, let us pray for our brothers and sisters who are sick and those who are suffering. Let us also pray for the eternal repose of those who have died and for the families that they have left behind. Let us also pray for our protection and healing, so that we may become less unworthy to partake of the mysteries of God's love. Let us now humbly call to mind our sins and entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, 
Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. goodwill. We, we praise you, you we, we bless you, you we, we adore you, you we, we glorify you. you. We, we give you thanks for your great glory. glory. Lord God, God, Heavenly King, O God, God Almighty Father, Father Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, by whose gift your faithful offer you right and praiseworthy service, grant, we pray, that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the things you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses spoke to the people, saying, Fear the Lord your God, and keep throughout the days of your lives all his statutes and commandments which I enjoy on you, and thus have long life. Hear then, Israel, and be careful to observe them, that you may grow and prosper the more, in keeping with the promise of the Lord, the God of your fathers, to give you a land flowing with milk and honey. Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord alone. Therefore, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. Take to heart these words which I enjoy on you today. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I love you, Lord my strength. I love you, Lord, my strength. I love you, O Lord, my strength. O Lord, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. I love you, Lord, my strength. My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Praise be the Lord, I exclaim, and I am safe from my enemies. I love you, Lord, my strength. The Lord lives, and blessed be my rock. Extolled be God, my Savior. You who gave great victories to your king and showed kindness to your anointed. I love you, Lord, my strength. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, the Levitical priests were many because they were prevented by death from remaining in office. But Jesus, because he remains forever, has a priesthood that does not pass away. Therefore, 
He is always able to save those who approach God through Him. Since He lives forever to make intercession for them. It was fitting that we should have such a high priest, holy, innocent, undefiled, separated from sinners, higher than the heavens. He has no need, as did the high priest, to offer sacrifice day by day, first for his own sins and then for those of the people. He did that once for all when he offered himself. For the law appoints men subject to weakness to be high priest, but the word of the oath, which was taken after the law, appoints a son who has been made perfect forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Peace then. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. One of the scribes came to Jesus and asked him, Which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, This is the first. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. The scribe said to him, Well said, teacher, you are right in saying, He is one, and there is no other than he. And to love him with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself is worth more than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. And when Jesus saw that he answered with understanding, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And no one dared to ask him any more questions. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, in our gospel this Sunday, a question was posed to Jesus. Which is the first of all commandments? Ano ang una sa lahat ng mga utos? This may look simple, but if we understand the context of the question, we will understand that it is quite tricky. The question was asked, 
by a scribe, an expert of the law. Which means this person is knowledgeable in Jewish laws. Alam niya at dalubhasa siya sa mga batas. Kaya alam niya ang tinatanong niya kay Jesus. And the Jews have more than 600 laws. And so the question is really of all these laws, which is the first? Sa dinami-dami ng ating batas na dapat sundin, ano ba ang una? And Jesus, being wise, answered by quoting from the law given by God to Moses as we heard in the book of Deuteronomy in our first reading today, Jesus said, The first is this. Take note, the question to Jesus was, Which is the first? And Jesus answered precisely, The first is this. The Lord our God is Lord alone. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. But Jesus added another, which is not mentioned in the book of Deuteronomy. If the first is about loving God first, and loving God above all else, Jesus said, the second is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. My dear brothers and sisters, today, Jesus teaches us the importance of loving God first and loving God above all else. Mahalin ang Diyos ng una sa lahat. Mahalin ang Diyos ng higit sa lahat. Sapagkat yan lamang ang nararapat na pagmamahal sa Diyos. Before you love other people, before you love even yourself, before you love anyone or anything, put the love of God first and put the love of God above all else. Wala nang mauuna pa sa pagmamahal sa Diyos at wala nang hihigit pa kaysa sa pagmamahal sa Diyos. Kahit na ang pagmamahal sa kapwa na mabuti, kahit na ang pagmamahal sa sarili na mabuti din, kahit na ang pagmamahal sa mga bagay sa mundong ito na biyaya ng Diyos, walang dapat mauna at walang dapat humigit pa sa pagmamahal natin sa Diyos. Jesus is very clear about this. The first is this, according to Jesus, love God first. And it is only after loving God that the second commandment follows, love others as you love yourself. And Jesus taught this not only through words, but also through his life. Jesus is the perfect example of obedience to this commandment. In our second reading today from the letter to the Hebrews, Jesus is described as the eternal high priest. And as a priest, he offered himself for the forgiveness of our sins. Jesus saved us 
by giving up himself. At ang pag-aalay ni Jesus ng kanyang buhay ay hindi lamang dahil mahal niya tayo. Ang pag-aalay ni Jesus ng kanyang buhay ay tanda ng kanyang pagsunod sa Diyos. Jesus offered Himself because of His obedience to the Father. And obedience is an expression of love. Dahil mahal na mahal ni Jesus ang Ama, kaya sinusunod niya ang kalooban ng Ama. At ang kalooban ng Ama ay iligtas tayo. Kaya naman ang pagliligtas sa atin ni Jesus, higit pa sa pagmamahal sa atin, ay pagmamahal niya sa Ama. At dahil mahal niya ang Ama, kaya mahal rin niya tayo. The love of Jesus for us is a fruit of His love for the Father. Inuuna ang pag-ibig ng Diyos. At kapag nauna na ang pag-ibig ng Diyos, kaya nang mahalin ang kapwa. My dear brothers and sisters, if we love God first, and if we love God above all else, then our love for our neighbors, our love for ourselves, our love for the things of the world, will be in the right places. Mapupunta sa tamang lugar ang pagmamahal sa kapwa, sa sarili, at sa mga bagay sa mundong ito kapag inuuna ang pag-ibig sa Diyos. And let this be also the first commandment in our life. Sa buhay din po natin, napakaraming utos Napakaraming batas na dapat nating sundin. Minsan, hindi na natin alam kung ano ba ang mga batas. Sa bahay, may batas ang magulang. Minsan, yung mga anak ang nagbibigay ng batas. Sa trabaho, maraming utos, maraming policies. Ngayon, sa panahon ng pandemic, ang dami-dami nating dapat alaming protocols na dapat sundin. Mask, face shield, distancing, lahat ng mga protocols sinusunod natin. Sa lipunan, marami ring mga batas. Gumagawa pa ng dagdag na batas. Pero sana, kahit na napakarami ng batas, pwede rin nating sabihin, ang unang batas ay mahalin ang Diyos ng una at ng higit sa lahat. To the husbands and wives who are here and who are joining the live streaming of this Mass, see to it, that in your relationship as a couple, you put the love of God first. Before loving your wife, husbands should love God first. Before loving your husband, wife, the wife, should love God first. Kaya sa mag-asawa, sabihin niyo sa isa't isa, pasensya ka na. Hindi ikaw ang una kong mahal. Ang una kong mahal ay ang Diyos. At kung unang mahal ang Diyos, magiging tama at tapat ang pagmamahal sa isa't isa. Kapag una ang pagmamahal sa Diyos kapag may takot sa Diyos, may takot din niyang magtaksil, may takot din niyang gumawa ng panluloko, may takot din niyang masira ang kanyang pangako dahil may takot siya sa Diyos na kanyang minamahal. 
sa mga magulang, ituro po natin sa ating mga anak na unahing mahalin ang Diyos kaysa sa atin. Because if our children love God first, then surely your children will love and respect you. Magiging masunurin yan. Igagalang kayo niyan bilang magulang dahil may pagmamahal sila sa Diyos. Huwag niyong sabihin sa inyong mga anak, ako lang ang mamahalin mo dahil ako lang ang magulang mo. Huwag nating sasabihin na hindi ka pwedeng magmahal ng iba. Dahil ako ang nagpalaki sa iyo, ituro ang pagmamahal unang-una sa Diyos at magiging mabuti ang inyong mga anak. Sa mga naglilingkod sa atin sa pamahalaan, sana po inuuna ang pag-ibig at ang takot sa Diyos. Kapag ang isang namumuno ay may takot sa Diyos, hindi yan magnanakaw. Kapag ang namumuno ay may takot sa Diyos, hindi yan manloloko. Kapag ang namumuno ay may takot sa Diyos at mahal ang Diyos, maglilingkod yan ng tapat. Hindi ang sarili niyang interes ang uunahin kundi ang paglilingkod at ang kabutihan sa mamamayan dahil may takot sa Diyos. Huwag tayong pumili ng sikat lamang. Huwag tayong pumili batay lamang sa ating mga nababasa sa social media. Tingnan natin, may takot ba ito sa Diyos? Naniniwala ba ito sa Diyos? Minamahal ba ito nito ang Diyos? Yung totoong pagtakot sa Diyos. Yung totoong pagmamahal sa Diyos. Kasi pwedeng magpanggap din lamang na may pagmamahal sa Diyos. Sa mga nagtatrabaho, unahin ang pagmamahal sa Diyos. At kapag una ang pagmamahal sa Diyos, mamahalin din natin ang ating ginagawa. Sa mga employer, unahin din ang pagmamahal sa Diyos. At kapag inuuna ang pagmamahal sa Diyos, magiging makatarungan tayo sa ating mga empleyado. If employees and employers love God first, then there will be justice. Ibibigay ng employer ang nararapat sa empleyado at ang empleyado ibibigay din ang nararapat sa kanyang trabaho. Let us put the love of God first. Above our careers, above our ambitions and dreams, above our plans, above even our desire for positions of power, and authority, above our desire for popularity, let us put the love of God first and above all else, and all our love will be in the right places. You know, my dear brothers and sisters, the reason why there are times when our love seems to be wrong or our love fails is because we love God before others or we love others before God and we love others above God. Kapag inuna mong mahalin ang iyong kapwa kaysa sa Diyos, Kapag inuna mong mahalin ang iyong sarili kaysa sa Diyos, kapag inuna mong mahalin ang mga bagay sa mundong ito, ang iyong karir, ang iyong pangarap kaysa sa Diyos, malalagay sa mali ang ating pagmamahal sa kapwa, sa sarili at sa mga bagay sa mundong ito. 
mamahalin mo ang kayamanan ng higit sa Diyos. Kaya kahit ano gagawin para lamang yumaman. Mamahalin mo ang iyong pamilya ng higit sa Diyos. Kaya kahit iligal, gagawin para lamang sa pamilya. Mamahalin mo ang iyong sarili ng higit sa Diyos. Kaya kahit kasalanan, gagawin dahil sa pagmamahal sa sarili. Mahalin ng Diyos ng una sa lahat at lahat ng ating pag-ibig ay malalagay sa tamang lugar. That is why, my dear brothers and sisters, if you feel that your love for your neighbors, your love for other people, seems to be wrong, then check. Am I loving this person more than God? Baka sa kanya ko na naibibigay ang buo kong pag-iisip, ang buo kong kalooban, ang buo kong puso, ang buo kong pagkatao. Baka ang naibibigay ko na lamang sa Diyos yung tira-tira sa aking pagmamahal. My dear brothers and sisters, in all honesty and truth, let us ask ourselves today, do I really love God first? Inuuna ko ba ang Diyos? Inuuna ko ba ang pagmamahal sa Diyos? At minamahal ko ba ang Diyos ng higit sa lahat? Or is there anything or anyone who competes with my love for God? Who is that person? What is that thing? Sino o ano ba ang kalaban, ang karibal ng Diyos sa aking pagmamahal? Talaga bang una ang Diyos sa aking buhay? Simple lamang po para makita yan. Mga simpleng bagay, makikita natin kung una ba talaga ang Diyos. Sa paggising po natin, ano ba ang ating unang ginagawa? Ano ba ang unang pumapasok sa ating isip sa pagdilat ng ating mga mata at paggising ng ating diwa? Kadalasan pagising, kakapain ang cellphone, titingnan kaagad ang cellphone. Bago magdasal, Facebook muna. Bago matulog sa gabi, ano ang huli nating ginagawa? Minsan bumabagsak pa yung cellphone sa mukha natin, kinatutulugan ang cellphone. Sino ba ang ating inuuna sa ating oras, sa ating panahon, at sa ating lakas? Long weekend, mamasyal tayo. At kapag may oras pa, pwede tayong magsimba. Bakit hindi magsimba muna tayo? at saka natin iplano ang ating araw. Put the love of God first. Put the love of God above all else, and everything will be in the right places. Let us not forget the greatest commandment as Jesus teaches us today. The first is this. Love God first. Love God above all else. And all our other loves will be true, pure, sincere, and holy. Love God first. And love God above all else. And Jesus will also tell us, as he told the scribe in today's gospel, you are not far from the kingdom of God.
He stands. Let us all together profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let our prayers today show that we love the Lord our God with all our heart, with all our soul, mind, and strength. Let our prayers show that we love our neighbors as we respect and reverence ourselves. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Holy Church may grow in charity and unity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That obedience to God's law may guide those who govern us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That people who seek goodness and decency may find Jesus Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that we may know our neighbors and show them Christian love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, prayer. our prayer. That this priestly sacrifice may cleanse and perfect the dead. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, prayer. our prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We remember the people who requested our prayers. And we also pray for the intentions offered in this Mass. Lord God, you reveal your will to us. You teach us your commandments. As we bring these petitions before you, we intercede in union with our eternal priest, your beloved Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, become for you a pure oblation and for us a holy outpouring of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you so love the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim, Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God, God of hosts, hosts, heaven and earth are full of your, your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess, and profess your, your resurrection, resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage to pray.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. May the working of your power, O Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that renewed by these heavenly sacraments, we may be prepared by your gift for receiving what they promise. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat sa pagpunta ngayon sa Manila Cathedral at sa pakikisa sa ating banal na pagdiriwang ng Misa. Maraming salamat din po sa mga matyagang nakatayo sa labas, sa inyong pasensya at sa inyong pakikisa rin sa ating pagdiriwang. We also wish to thank those uh, thousands who are joining the live streaming of this Mass. Thank you for being part of our online community. And we also thank you for all the help, the support, the donations and love offerings that you send for the missions of the Manila Cathedral. And we also thank the different social media platforms uh, that are sharing this Holy Mass. Maraming salamat po for being our partners in our online ministry. At nais din po nating pasalamatan ang mga uh, staff and servants ng Manila Cathedral na tumutulong sa atin sa paglilingkod sa misang ito. Tomorrow, November 1, the Solemnity of All Saints, and on November 2, the commemoration of all the faithful departed, our Masses here at the Manila Cathedral will be at 7.30 in the morning, and 12.10 in the afternoon. These Masses are, will be live-streamed for those who wish to join online. We also invite you to our Blessed Souls Chapel to offer Masses, candles, and prayers for our beloved departed. At uh, dahil po hindi tayo makakapunta sa cementerio, we encourage you to gather as a family, as a community, uh, and pray for our beloved dead. Ang mahalaga po ay nakapag-alay tayo ng misa para sa kanila at nagdasal tayo bilang pag-alaala natin sa kanila. Ito po yung pinakamagandang paraan ng pagdiriwang natin ng undas. May God bless this new week. And may God give us all the graces that we need so that we may be able to love Him first and above all else. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May Almighty God bless you in His kindness and pour out saving wisdom upon you now and forever. Amen. May He nourish you always with the teachings of the faith and make you persevere in holy deeds now and forever. Amen. May He turn your steps towards Himself and show you the path of charity and peace now and forever. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Those who brought the urns of their beloved uh, dead after the Mass, we will have the blessing. Sundan lamang po natin yung ating mga ushers para sa maayos na pagbabasbas. We shall also have the blessings tomorrow and on Tuesday after our Masses. The Mass has been offered. Let us go glorifying the Lord by our lives. Thanks be to God.
sa ating puso. Aming sarili ay aming andog, laging kapatan, laging tupon, naririto handa kami, Panginoon.